All right, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm super excited for today's episode. We actually have two gameplays and then we also have a huge trade to make in between each game. Super excited for it. I hope you guys are as well. Please do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And with that being said, let's go ahead, jump into the rest of the video. All right, since we lost last week, unfortunately, we're not going to get any cool dev games. We're not going to get any crazy upgrades. We don't have any staff points to spend. Kind of a disappointing start to week number four. But again, if you want the good stuff, you got to win. We're taking on the Chargers. Let's take a look at his roster real quick. So here is the Raiders roster. He's got Zach Martin up top, 97 overall. And he's got one of the best young receivers in the league in DK Metcalf. Six foot three, 95 speed with abilities this year. Josh Jacobs, who I actually thought had abilities as well, but apparently he doesn't. 91 overall. Larry Tunsil to it. He's got Baker Mayfield at quarterback. And there's some decent other players here as well, like uh, Brandon Ayuk at wide receiver is really solid as well. So decent roster. I definitely think we have the advantage in this department. Let's go ahead, jump into the gameplay. All right, here we are in SoFi Stadium, which by the way, I'm thinking about going to the Patriots Chargers game in a lot. Oh my God, it is lagging like crazy. What the? Okay, at least I didn't kick it out of bounds and just give him great field positioning to start. But going back to what I was saying, I'm thinking about going to that Chargers Patriots game on Halloween weekend. I'm super excited for that. If you guys are going to any NFL games, man, let me know in the comments below which ones you guys are planning on going to, man. I'm super excited. Haven't been to one in a couple years. Excited to get back. Looks like he's running U-trips and we somehow got through there. I've kind of fell asleep with my user for a second, but Clay Brooks is so small and shifty. He actually just shoots to the offensive line, hitting Jacobs in the backfield for a big time tackle. Let's go. Let's go, man. Defense. Come on, more? Make a play. Number 20. Who is number 20? Marcus May popping up. Spin move. Ooh, come on, man. A perfect play, though. Beautiful pass on the wheel route to Jacob Harris. What a throw. What a catch. That was poetry. Number 10, and why is he breaking tackles like that? <laughs> gotta play better defense, man. Honestly, gotta, 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 gotta play better defense. Pick! Ooh, come on, man. We got so close to pick six in that. That would have been Marcus May's second of the game. He's going to no huddle and go for it. Fourth and five. I'm going to... Ooh, I'm going to flip with them. I'm thinking about sending pressure here. I sent pressure last play. I think I'm going to... I'm going to play coverage here. We're going to send three. Let's see if we can get some shots from our defensive line. Minka, we gotta play that kid. We are all over it, but DK Metcalf, he's got the superstar abilities. Anything he puts his hands on, he's gonna catch. Woo, Minka is angry. He gave up that fourth down conversion. Huge hit on Jacobs. I'm gonna send a little bit of pressure. I'm gonna send a little bit of pressure. I'm gonna run man coverage, but I'm gonna put my outside guy in a hard flat. So hopefully he sees man coverage and just chuck something in the right flat. Oh, all right. That works too. We'll just get some crazy pressure from AJ Moore off the edge. Ooh, that was, I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was almost a pick or almost a touchdown. That was close to being either one though. DK Metcalf is just too fast, man. We have Clay Brooks. I tried to get there, but Users just a little bit too slow, Madden 22. Metcalf has Jets. What a dot. Let's see if Ridley can cook on the streak. Ridley cannot cook on the streak, but you know who will cook? Chris Bourne. How come every time I do a CFM series on my YouTube, we just have some random wide receiver that we get like from free agency and we just play him in like the least used spot and he just plays really well for us. Chris Bourne, low-key goon. 
All right, same play because why not? Chris Board spin move, turn on the Jets. Nice pickup, man. I'm looking up top. To, I'm looking up top to Chris Board. We're putting him on a streak versus mass coverage. Is he gonna be open? He's not open. Do we have Keenan Allen? Do I have RB open? I uh, I don't have RB open. Uh, not at all. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to talk about it, all right? We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. I thought the running back was in the flat with no one. That's why you don't throw to people. Just not on. Okay. All right. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Run play, run play. Come up, make the tackle. Let's go. Come on. We got to get a Sinji right here. Two yard line. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make the tackle. Let's go. Big stand. One yard line. He's going to know how to it. I guarantee it. All right. I don't guarantee it. Never mind. I'm just an idiot. Stop listening to me. Great play action, but we shoot the guy with the user. I accidentally clicked off, but it didn't matter. A long junior coming up with a huge sack on the play action. I'm looking at the corner here. Ridley. Ridley. Tight window. Feet and bounds. Let's go, Ridley. Beautiful catch on the sideline. I'm looking up top. I'm looking up top to Keenan Allen is not fast enough. We have the delay fade though. Speaking of someone who's fast, Jacob Harris, make a play. No, I'm going for TikTok clips, all right? If you ask me any questions, I'm going for TikTok clips, all right? I'm a content creator. It's my job. Oh, yeah, we're having a Ridley over top. All day, Ridley. We got to spin the state. I accidentally double spun. I accidentally double spun. We had a walk-in touchdown with Ridley. And I, what am I doing? I'm playing so bad this game, man. We're looking at wheel route, but I did this last time. He might go to it. He, he might not go to it. Jacob Harris, 90 speed, super low overall rookie. You know, I question if I took this guy a little bit too early, but he has been playing great for us. Let's go, Jacob. Pick. All right, Minka. You had one too many chances, bro. That's got to be interception. We are all over him. Dude, DK Metcalf is absolutely killing me right now. Pick. Got to be a pick. Brandon Wilson. Who else? Brandon Wilson coming up with another interception. Oh, he almost got out of there, too. Pick number four on the season for Brandon Wilson. I think we might get him Defensive Player of the Year. I'm just going to be honest. Wide open. Keenan Allen. Beautiful pass. 10 seconds left. Let's get in field goal range. Let's make it two possessions. I think we got over top of his user. We got over top. Calvin Ridley with the burners. 90. Four speed. I took a risk. It paid off. And Ridley is in it to the end zone. Let's go, man. All right. Calvin Ridley is glowing orange. And when your player is glowing orange, you throw it really deep to him. I'm pretty sure Buddha, or I think Confucius said that. Confucius is an idiot because I just got sacked trying to throw it deep. It would have been a really bad idea. There was like four people on it back there. Uh, that would have been really bad. Backside dig. Rid oh, I thought it was Ridley for a second. It's Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen with a huge catch in the face of traffic. All right, we have Ridley wide open. I don't know how I missed that read. Harris inbounds. Harris, what a dot. I did not think there was a chance that he was going to be that open, but he just busts the match coverage wide open in the corner of the end zone. Harris might be the MVP of this game so far. He's having a day. What do we do on 4th and 29? We go for it. 
I don't even know who my kicker is. We don't use him. We, we go for sevens and sevens only. Alright, we're gonna have to check down and just... We're gonna have to check down and pray. Harris! Oh! Harris! No! Oh my god, we actually almost had it. We were so close. I thought we got by the guy who tackled us, and if we did, I think we had it, boys. I think we really did. That would have been crazy. Pick. Let's go. Marcus May is having a monster game. Marcus May, we got to get around... Ba All right, dude. We can't. We can't shake out Baker. Why do quarterbacks have better pursuit than linebackers in this game? What's up with that? Pollard will get his regardless. Okay, boys. Pig. I was asking where Minka was, and there he is. Huge red zone. Well, maybe not huge, but still a nice red zone pick, regardless. All right, that is going to do it, man. GG's to the Raiders. It was looking pretty dicey there to start. We cleaned it up big time later in the game. We're moving on to 3-1, a huge divisional win right there. Next week, we take on the Browns, but let's go ahead and check out what upgrades we got here after this game. All right, we get some upgrades here, and we have some big ones. Minka Fitzpatrick with the interception is going up to a 92 overall, Excel plus two acceleration, which is actually really nice. And then we get the much anticipated Josh Allen upgrade to 90 overall. He gets hot route master now. We're about to take offense to the next level. No crazy stat upgrades here. But the ability is all we're looking for. We also get a Michael Davis upgrade here, which is really nice. Michael Davis has been playing really well for a six foot two corner. He gets plus two zone coverage, so he's up to 82 with the 92 speed. And then Jacob Harris, who's honestly been one of our best players so far this season. Definitely recommend scooping this guy mid to late rounds in your guys' fantasy drafts. But he gets catching, deep route running, medium route running, and short here. Not bad for a rookie. The route running stats are pretty trash, but honestly, with the speed against linebackers mainly, he's getting open regardless. And then, of course, we get an A.J. Moore upgrade. Our other linebacker across from Brandon Wilson, he's been playing well, and he gets a plus one zone upgrade. So nothing too wild here. We have a couple staff points. Let's go ahead and check out the talent tree. So last episode, I went ahead and upgraded three of these. Hands-on defense. Defensive coordinator talents cost 20% less. So we want to go ahead and do all of this before we upgrade the actual coordinator, you know, talent trees. That way they're actually cheaper. We have premier destination. And then we're going to go with after school of tutoring, access an additional focus player through weekly strategy. So we're going to get an additional XP boost when training players. And honestly, I think that's going to help us out a ton. Okay, maybe I'm not going to get that. I don't. The prerequisites for this talent have not been met? Wait, what does this mean? The prerequisites for this talent have not been met. I don't understand. What am I missing? I've already upgraded the right side of the tree. And what is this? Why does this say one out of two? So if I click it again, are you sure you want to upgrade same team, same scheme? So we'll upgrade it? It still doesn't work. Do I have to do the entire left side as well? I'm actually confused right now. I really don't know what I need to get this done. All right, we'll upgrade the left side. Maybe I need more. I, I, I want after school tutoring, but I'm actually not sure how to get here. I guess we'll max out this left side after next week and then see if we can unlock it. Don't really know how this works. I might be an idiot. Let me know in the comments below what I'm doing wrong here, but we have a big trade to make right here. I'm going to offer up Keenan Allen, 94 overall. Jacob Harris, who went off last game. I don't know if I really want to trade this guy. But I think I got to sweeten the pot. He said he was looking for some speed at tight end. And then we're trading Hardy Sr., who is a low overall, but he's six foot two, 92 speed. So he's actually got some great physical attributes. And we're going for Henry Ruggs, man. Doesn't have abilities quite yet, but I think we can get him there by the end of the season. And he's got 99 speed, all right? I need someone with burners. I'm going to go ahead, send the trade. Let's see if the Vikings accepts it or not. Week five is here, and we are taking on a very quality opponent in the three in one Browns. We also have a couple things we want to deal with first. We're going to check out our training, see if we get any good upgrades. We also got AFC defensive player 
of the week with Marcus May. Five tackles and two picks. That was kind of like the one draft pick I wasn't sure about. Now, I kind of regretted it when I did it. I wanted to take like JC Jackson or another fast corner. We ended up going with Marcus May. He's playing slot corner for us, and obviously he's playing pretty well, man. He just got AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Let's check out our training now. So weekly strategy here, again, the ones that I do use are defense short pass. You know, I don't want to give up any of those flats or anything like that. And then the other one that I use here on offense is actually a throw it deep. And the reason for this is you get that boosted deep route running, which is obviously huge, especially if you are going for some bomb plays. Let's go ahead and start our training. It's kind of weird. They don't let you play it this year, I guess. It just automatically sims it. Not that I really want to play it anyway. It just seems like a giant waste of time. We have the pretty standard game plan boost right there. And then hopefully we get some decent upgrades here as well. We already got the hot route master with Josh Allen. We're really just looking for physical attributes. As we just got Henry Ruggs, I didn't even I didn't even realize this until we just upgraded our players. But it seems like the trade was accepted from the Vikings. We traded Keenan Allen, a 94 overall X-Factor receiver. A little bit on the slower side, but one of the best route runners in the entire NFL. Jacob Harris, who honestly played great for us last game. I almost didn't even want to get rid of him. But we get a decent replacement there in Eric Ebron, who I believe is 85 speed. So he's like 5 speed slower. Still not the greatest route running, but Ebron high overall, 85. And then we also trade Justin Hardy, who is a 92 speed, 6 foot 1 corner for Henry Ruggs and Ebron. So we trade away an X-Factor, a young a rookie tight end. We don't get any superstar abilities back, but we get 99 speed Henry Ruggs. And off the rip, he is going to get an upgrade in the very first training session. Super excited about this guy right here, man. I needed a deep threat. Ridley's like borderline. You know, he's got 94 speed. He's got some decent wheels. As we get released, deep route running and acceleration for Henry Ruggs. This is the mini Tyreek Hill right here. 99 speed, 98 acceleration. And he's got really good deep route running. We could definitely use a boost there for medium and short. But for right now, Henry Ruggs is absolutely going to do the job for us. We also get a Brian O'Neill upgrade here up to an 80 overall. Nothing too exciting with offense alignment. But it is nice to see the upgrades, man. Plus one strength. Lorenzo Carter, Anzalone, Greg Ward, Brandon Wilson with another upgrade. He's been moving pretty quickly. I'm surprised he has not got a dev game yet. I was kind of hoping for one this week. Not going to happen, but plus two zone is. He's up over 70. That'll be nice. And then, of course, we get a Calvin Ridley upgrade. Plus one speed again, man. We've already gotten one on him. Can we make it two? We cannot, but we get plus three catch and traffic, medium route running, and a deep route running. Calvin Ridley is just a monster. Him and Henry Ruggs are going to give everyone I play for the rest of the season absolute nightmares. Lorenzo Carter actually starts for us as well, so we'll give him an upgrade here. We'll give him the speed rusher. It's his highest one. 76 overall for Lorenzo Carter, plus two finesse moves. He's been playing solid, man. Barmore, Barmore's been great. Everson Griffin's not been bad either, but, you know, Carter, Carter's a decent late round draft pick you can definitely use on your defensive line. I don't think either of those guys play, so we'll go ahead and just auto upgrade them. We got a big game here against the Browns, man, so I'm, I'm ready to go. I feel like we got everything done. Let's go ahead, jump into the game. Let's make it 4-1. and one. So we're actually going to hop back in Ravens for this game. I've been kind of bouncing between this and the Bengals playbook, running tight slots. I'm just so comfortable and spread. I honestly think it's probably by far and away the best offense in CFM in regs. It's really good in Mutt as well. If you guys are interested in checking out the guide for it, link in the description below. Team Get Lucky. Dot com. All members get the Ravens offensive guide as well as defense and anything else I add throughout the year. So I'm super excited for that. But here we go, man. I got to make it look good. You know, if I'm going to plug my offense, we got to make it look good. We're going to check down to Tony Pollard for a nice pickup on the first play. All right, he's leaving the flat open. He actually manned up Pollard right there, but the, the defender just glitched right through him. I don't know what that was. Nice pickup again to Pollard. If he's not going to respect the flats, I will take them all day. I'm going to be honest. I feel like we got to test rugs out here. All right, maybe we don't have to test rugs out there. Oh, Ridley, Ridley, big catch, kid, spin side. Ooh, okay. All right, well, he's backing the dude up like 10 yards, so rugs is not going to be open there. If he's not going to press, I might move rugs to the inside and move Ridley to the outside. Good coverage on third and inches. I just didn't really expect man coverage. We got rugs in motion, little five-man blitz. 
Beautiful pass to Ridley. I thought we had the Dragon Rugs, which I think we did. But he thought he, he thought we had it too. So that's what he went ahead and usered. And we left Ridley backside wide open. Beautiful dot from Josh Allen. 7-0. Great start to this game. You know what? I thought by playing TFM, we were going to be able to escape the dudes running Gun Bunch every play. But here we are. Gun Bunch offset. Let's see if we can back it up. No, sir. Ooh, and this has got to be my worst nightmare, right? Bunt's offset, and he's running delay fades in the first play. There's just no way this is real, man. Oh, yeah. This guy might be sweaty. This guy might be sweaty. Flipping bunch. He's got Pittman at tight end. I like the coverage. Marcus May almost made a play on it. Davis throws right into a flat. We had a manned up. I messed up my adjustments. He had a wide open touchdown on the right hand side. Thankfully, I didn't see it. Good tackle. Good tackle. Third down. We got to get stingy. Defense, man. Pressure. Let's go. Big time stop. Fourth and eight. Is he going to go for it? He's going to go ahead and kick his three-man. Great hold on defense right there. Yes, sir. Let's drive down the field. Let's get seven. Let's make it a two-possession game. I'm going to go up top this play. I'm going to see if we can get Henry Ruggs over the middle. Only a three-man rush. We're going to have a lot of time. And guess who? Henry Ruggs, 99 speed. There's no way he's getting caught. He's walking into the end zone. Hey, the plan worked perfectly. And Henry Ruggs is just too quick, man. One stop on defense. Play action, deep post, Lorenzo Carter. We talked about him when we were doing our training, and he comes up with a huge sack, second and 20. We're playing some great defense. I don't know how that guy was so open right there. Whoa, but where was my defender? Defense coach, Lorenzo Carter, sack number two. We got the double post back. Listen, everyone runs that play. Everyone and their dog and their grandma is running double posts online. We got a cage for it. Defense, teamgetlucky.com, man. Micah Hyde. Come on, kid. Interception. Let's go. Oh, return it. Let's get a nice return right here. Throw some blocks. Throw some blocks. Cut it back to the right. Ooh, we almost got around the edge, but a beautiful interception from Micah Hyde. We have an opportunity to make it three possessions now if we score seven. A little stick work from K-Mac. Doesn't happen that often, but it looked clean. Ebron, the new addition. Run him over. Ebron, can we show a little physicality and run him over, please? Henry Ruggs, number two. This is looking like a beautiful trade. Henry Ruggs is playing great for us so far. Come on, kid. Oh, my God. What is it? Since when can Michael Pittman spin like that? Backside dig, Calvin Ridley, nice catch. She's our first time out. We're going up top to Ruggs again. I feel like Ruggs is calling my name right here. Hey, maybe he's not calling my name, but you know who is? Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard is wide open. Little playmaker action. Beautiful. We don't need it. We don't need to waste our second timeout just yet. I have two clock on. Oh god, maybe I should have used my second timeout. I have two clock on, and Josh Allen is taking his sweet ass time. Hurry up, Josh! Do I need to say anything? Touchdown. Number three, Henry Ruggs, the third. He's too quick. I don't know how to stop that route. I have no idea. I, I don't know. 
That's defense, coach. My D-line is going crazy. Hey, these dudes are super motivated. Is that Lorenzo Carter's third? It is. Why is Lorenzo Carter so good? Pick, let's go, man. Who is number five? Newsome, the rookie. Make a play, kid. A spin move, a little spin move. Beautiful, we baited him right there with a 30 yard zone job. He thought it got over top. You're gonna get invaded by 30 yard zone drops. I throw a pick right, what am I doing, man? I have the entire left side of the field wide open. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Why do I do that? Every time I get the ball back off a turnover, bro, I just wanna throw something stupid. I don't know why. Defense, man, we are getting crazy pressure on the quarterback, Marcus May. Defense. It's just defense. Lorenzo Carter. Four sacks. He's looking like Taylor Jones out there against the Tennessee Titans. Third and 34. Man, my safeties aren't playing that well for me, honestly. I take that back. You know, I take it back. I take it back, right? I didn't mean it, Minka. I didn't mean it, bro. I get, I get it. I get it. All right. I was just joking. I wanted, to, I wanted to bring out the best in you, and I think I did it. You know what? I'm just gonna chuck it to Rose. He's fast. He runs fast. He gets open deep. I throw it to Rose. Simple, simple formula. Run. Throw to Rugs. Score touchdowns. How do you stop? How do you stop it? How do you stop 99 speed? Honestly, he just ran by everybody. He was manned up. There was like three deep blues back there, and Henry Ruggs said, "I just don't care. I'm 99 speed." Ah, uh, he hits us with a bomb of his own. I sent pressure. I sent seven people. We just got no, no pressure whatsoever. Oh, we almost got. I saw it too late. I'm going to quick snap this. I'm going to snap it as fast as humanly possible. And uh, he's just going to give us the flat. Pollard, let's go, baby. Huge conversion. Listen, when you have Josh Allen, you got to play like Josh Allen will play in real life, right? That's the only explanation I have for that throw. I've lost count. I think it's fine. I honestly don't know anymore. Let's go to football. Let's go to John Madden football specifically. count that high. You know, I went to Arizona State. I'm not the, I'm not the brightest. Newsom. Pick number two. Newsom having a big game, man. We've been playing some defense since the season started. I'm not going to lie. Newsom had a big game. Marcus May had a big game last week. Brandon Wilson's been going crazy. Minka's played well. Hyde has played well. Defense is balling, man. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I try to get Henry Ruggs touchdown number. I think Henry Ruggs scored every single one of our passing. Did we even score without Ruggs? I'm pretty sure every touchdown was just Ruggs. Am I wrong? How many touchdowns did he have? I gotta check. Let's go to let's go to player stats, man. How many receiving touchdowns did Henry Ruggs have? Henry Ruggs had six. Wow, that's disappointing. I thought he had seven. Might as well scrap the whole game, man. It was basically a failure. Seven receptions for 200 yards and six touchdowns. He only had one reception that wasn't a touchdown. 28.5 average. We went with only a 3.1 
run after catch average. We played, I mean, that was just explosive. You know, spreads mostly known for like checking underneath and stuff like that. But we went bombs away that game. Henry Ruggs went absolutely wild. Let's see what upgrades we get. Oh, we get a Henry Ruggs upgrade. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Let's go ahead and give him the deep. He's om he's almost already ready for another upgrade. Awareness, catch and traffic, and deep route running. I'm praying he gets a dev upgrade, but he's up to 90 deep route running, and he he played amazing. We upgraded all of these max. I don't know what I have to do to get this. I, I It still hasn't unlocked. I don't have enough staff points, obviously, so maybe that's the issue, but... I don't know, man. We'll figure it out at some point. I don't even care that much. We went crazy with Henry Ruggs. We had a big victory over the three and one Browns. So definitely a contender for the playoffs in the AFC. Next week, we are taking on the Ravens, who I believe are 5-0. and We have a pretty tough schedule this season, man. I'm super excited for that game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode, enjoyed the trade. Henry Ruggs is looking great, man. But enough about him. I will see you guys next week against the Ravens. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.